Ah, yes, my boy. The time has finally come to get back in there with the Yu-Gi-Oh! AI Duelist 2.0. And today we're going to be getting in there with a new combination. We're going to be getting in there with the Dragon Maids. And in a way you've never thought of or ever seen before. Because as you already know, one of the strongest monsters in Dragon Maids is Dragon Maid Shio. And Shio with its negate and floating abilities is just super powerful inside of any dragon deck and it's actually one of the free decks you can get inside master duel but what would happen if someone cracked the deck what would happen if someone found a shio otk through the power of ai now we're gonna normal summon our dragon made monster we're gonna cook in the kitchen and we're gonna send this beast down now, we're gonna add a card to our hand, but send it to the graveyard. Now, by putting this in the graveyard, we're setting up our Monster Reborn play. And you might think, why Monster Reborn? You know, like, like you know, you're not gonna be able to have that every time. You're correct, sir. I'm not gonna have Monster Reborn. But what I am gonna have is the Hospitality of the Dragon Maids, which we can run at three. We're gonna have the Hospitality of the Dragon Maids running wild in this deck. And I'm just using Monster Reborn just to illustrate how amazing this combo is because there's even more cards that work like both monster reborn and hospitality and i'll show you that on a different combo so we're gonna monster reborn and we're gonna bring back our monster gonna use the effect and add to our hand the changeover now because we got changeover in our hand and our two dragon maids on the field we got tons of options now if you didn't know this is the secret about Yu-Gi-Oh mechanics once two monsters are on the field anything is possible but since we're going for an otk i'm going to show you what i'm going to do because number one you want to keep in mind that special summoning chundra is live because we do have the kitchen cooking right on the field you know it's hungry it's time to eat or we can get this going so we're gonna activate our spell card. We're gonna send the snake eye um, spell. We're gonna send away a monster. Now, what monster are we gonna send? I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter at this point, but for the sake of having a fire monster on board, let's send this card. Then we're gonna sing, bring out snake eye ash. Snake eye ash is gonna activate, and then we're gonna add the poplar. Now poplar is gonna activate. We're gonna summon Poplar. Poplar is gonna activate. We're gonna get our field spell. Now we're gonna crack the field spell and we're gonna use it and set Oak. Then we're gonna activate the effect and send Oak away. And then we're gonna bring out the Flame Burge Dragon. Now you might be thinking, Flame Burge Dragon? Hmm, you can special summon children with that. I'm glad you thought of that, my boy. Now also with that, keep in mind, that we, we, we can still, if we didn't use Regeki to destroy this monster, we could have pushed our opponent's monster into this field trap zone. So this line has effects that can get rid of our opponent's cards within the line, built into the line, so that's great. But here's the killer part. Now we're gonna activate this spell, we're gonna do changeover, and we're gonna bring out Shio. Now when we summon Shio, Shio's effect, I mean not Shio's effect, Flame Bird Dragon's effect is going to activate and summon two monsters from the grave. And with Shio and all of our Snake Eye monsters, that's a game without using Chundra. That's a game without using three cards. That's a three card OTK that's going to get you all of your monsters plus Shio, and you can go even further beyond with Chundra, but I'll show you that in the next one. All right, my boys, here we go again. Back at it again for another combo. We're gonna use our Sangin Kaiman, and we are gonna add the Kitchen Dragon Maid. Cooking in the kitchen with the Dragon Maids, summon, and we're gonna send to the grave Tink Kick. Tink, Tink Kick. We're gonna send that one to the grave, my boy. We're gonna use that very same Monster Reborn to bring it back. And then we're gonna activate our Sinful Spoils. We're gonna send this away. We're gonna bring out Snake Eye Ash. Ash for Poplar. Poplar. 
Pop Lars effect. Then we use this. Then we're gonna put oak. Ash on oak. Flame burst dragon. Flame burst dragon's effect. Put the monster in the spell trap zone. Oh, valet. Oh, valet. Oh, valet. <laughs> now we're going into our Numeron Dragon OTK. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? Look at this. Two OTKs, three card OTKs. We don't use Chundra at all. With it built in within the deck, no extra cards. Easily playing whatever you want. OTK. 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 All right, my boys, we're gonna do the same combo now with just um, one different card. Instead of Sangin Kaiman, we're gonna use our normal summon, which is disgusting. And I'm gonna show you how to do this combo with some cool, some other uh, cool moves. So basically by using the normal summon, we're gonna go ahead and send our card directly to the graveyard instead of adding it to our hand with Kitchen Dragon Maid. Then activate Monster Reborn, bring it right back use the effect and we can add a card to our hand what card are we going to add you know we're going to add that changeover now we got the changeover let's go ahead and use our sinful spoils card now we plan on using chundra on this move so since we plan on using chundra let's send away our level four and then we're going to go ahead and use the effect and we're going to go ahead and do the snake eye play completely and you guys know that play by now it's ash into poplar poplar into field spell field spell into oak and then ash into flame burge now that we have flame burge dragon on the board going to go ahead and use the effect to get rid of any monsters if we can and then now we're going to go ahead and summon the chundra now why do we summon the chundra right here because basically we're gonna take advantage of this to, to like you know go even further because what's what's happening here is a lot of times i've found that sometimes you can get in a battle and there'll be a random situation where your opponent might be able to stop you um and if that's the case then you want to have something to stop them right you want to have like uh something to interact with them or your opponent might nibiru or anything who knows but this play right here is where we're is going to lead us into our next move so we're going to use this card right here and then we're going to go ahead and bring out shio but you want to make sure you put shio right here extra monster zone because flame bird is going to give us two monsters And you definitely want to use Chundra, right? So let's battle. Now this is more than enough, right? This is way more than enough to do anything we have to do. But you know, we have to make sure, <laughs> we gotta make sure that, um, that we have our, our setup complete. Now I just want to show y'all this quick little trick. We've done all this, we've went bananas, we've went insane with this combo, but that's not done because Chundra can even special summon Kitchen Dragon Maid to the field. And if you have a Dragon Maid in your hand, you can swap it out for any Dragon Maid hand trap because they are all hand traps and use it in the battle. So that's another little clever trick. But we're just gonna go ahead and just bring this out, bring this out, bring out the Pandra. I use Pandra's effect to go ahead and add to our hand. Start off with Wanted and see if he does anything on that. So nothing on Wanted. Okay. Then let's go. Let's go into this line. 
All right, here's witch. Witch effect. Send for spoils. Pop the spoils. And we will send witch. Special summon the snake. Sneaky snake use the effect. And we're gonna add the poplar. Poplar's effect. Special summon. Use poplar. Grab the field spell. All right, about to cook them. Activate. Gonna place oak. Ash. Send oak. And then we're gonna bring flame birch. And then we are going to, I mean, at this stage, we're just gonna draw, I, I guess. Let me just see. Yeah, we're just gonna draw. So let's go ahead and normal summon. Activate the effect. And then we're gonna go ahead and add. Then we're gonna send it to the graveyard. And then I'm gonna use Chundra's effect, special summon. Now I'll take the draw. <laughs> this is actually pretty good, but um, we don't need this right now. I mean, we could use it, but um, I don't want to do that. I want to just beat him up with, uh, well, actually, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it since we drew into it. I'm going to send a card to the grave. He's like, what is he doing over there? Finishing you off, brother. Here we go. You're gonna bring this in defense position. It's kind of funny doing this, but <laughs> you definitely don't have to, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, uh, we're gonna send this to the grave. We're gonna go ahead and special summon this and then we're gonna use this as a material. And then now we're gonna activate our effect. Boost to 9,000. Battle phase. Attack for 9,000 of those things. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna go down like you think, my boy. It's not gonna go down like you think. Okay. First, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna destroy all your spells and traps. Yes. Oh, you know what I thought this was? Oh, this is branded banishment. Oh, I thought this was that. I thought this was branded beast. Silly me. I thought it was Brandy Beast. That's my fault. What is he? What kind of? What is he making? Oh, this. Oh. Oh, well, that's not nothing. Not nothing. I gotta worry about anyway. Um. I'm gonna activate this card. We're gonna special summon our dragon. And we're going to send a card to the graveyard. Do you have a response, dog? All right. Then we're going to use Sangon Summoning. Singer summoning. Search our deck. All right. So here's the thing. Unfortunately, I got that in my hand. That's not good. Summon. Uh, 
yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I gotta discard a doggone card. Uh. Oh, actually, this is the perfect card to discard. <laughs> That's the perfect card to discard, actually. All right, so we're gonna use this. All right. Cause basically it's gonna keep keep my monster from dying so I can use the effects. I know I'm just going out of my way here, but uh, bear with me. All right, here you go. I'm gonna go ahead and tribute this guy. Now he's gonna get the punishment he's been looking for. All right, now I'm gonna special summon a card to the field. Actually, if I special summon this, I could get that, but. Oh, yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. And then we're going to summon this. And then we're going to use the effects. Yeah, we're cooking you. And then we're going to take this. And instead of setting it, we're new. No. We're going to add it to the hand. All right. Now we're going to cook. Battle! Everybody's attack is zero, dog. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, unaffected, you silly Betty. So we're gonna attack. And then, of course, uh, declaring an attack. No, not yet. Uh, then we're gonna use Chundra's effect. And then we're gonna special summon our guy. And then we're gonna use Fadra's effect. And then we're gonna bring back our boy. And then, there you go, wait. Yeah, he's not gonna die. Um, and we summoned our guy. So four and seven, right. Here you go. Then we're gonna synchro for seven. All right, synchro for seven. All right, let me just bright it. And then we're gonna bring somebody back. And then we're gonna bring back, do I bring back the Dragon Knight? No, I don't bring back the Dragon Knight. We're gonna bring back the uh, Tenpai Dragon. Beat him up. Yes. Looks like your life points are wide open for a direct attack. <laughs> Nani. Oh yeah, I forgot he had uh she had that card. Uh that watch my jig. Uh yeah, I don't think any of my responses can necessarily uh kill that per se at the moment uh actually we could do this seven and three we make ten this is crazy because all this was enabled is because I was able to get this thing on the board <laughs> Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Chain block. Bring our boy back. Destroy a card. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to pop him. I guess not. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did 
is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't think I've ever contemplated doing it like this before. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Changing it back to attack mode is ridiculous. Changing it to attack mode was insane. <laughs> I didn't even calculate for that. Ah, uh, yes, my boy. I do not take it lightly. I do understand that I am treaded on hallowed ground. I do understand that you, my duelists, have been waiting for the Dragon Maids. I know that it is a fabled deck. I know it is a holy deck. I know it is the deck of many's, many of duelists first go around in competitive play. But I'm happy to bring you guys something that's actually viable in these streets. Let's get into it. So basically, uh, we're running five cards that we can OTK off of. And this isn't really um, the final version of the deck. But I would definitely say this might be like the final combo that brings everything together. Because the combo just works so well. Primarily, if you can complete the Snake Eye line and complete your Dragon Maid line, that's an OTK to get you in the Numeron Dragon, as you saw. And, and throughout completing either one of those lines, Fire Dragons are on board, so you can back it up by special summoning Tenpai Dragon Chundra. Now, what's amazing about this deck is that this deck has reinforcements of the army through Sangin Kaiman. Sangin Kaiman can search a deck for any fire dragon monster. That means you can search your deck for Kitchen Dragon Maid. Now, I was running that at three in my other deck, but I, I don't have three um, of, of, of Sangin Kaiman. But this card is just incredible because this card starts off your whole deck and your whole combo you want access to it and with sang and kaiman you get that and then of course you don't need sang and kaiman to otk especially if you're doing kitchen dragon maid combos and kitchen dragon maid combos can lead into shio which is an omni negate that floats into a beater that pops when cards return to the hand so there's tons of cards that can get the plays going and then on top of that we do have plays from tenpai dragon tundra um well not tenpai dragon tundra we have play well yeah yeah we got plays from tenpai dragon tundra off of its effect special summon a dragon from the deck you can special summon kitchen dragon maid and if you have you know any type of dragon maid card in your hand you can end up keeping this hand trap and using it to boost any dragon maid by 2000 it's absolutely insane not to mention going into battle phase will you know you can literally go into battle phase and because kitchen dragon maids on the field you can go into um a 2700 beater and and i don't mean to be funny sometimes you need something to attack to get Chundra's effect off. So it's just a really good combo. Um, on top of everything else, I would just say, like right now I'm heavily focused within the fusion and the synchro next seas line. I haven't done much with the link lines, um, but I'm looking to get into that sooner rather than later. But you know, as, as you can see, this deck took uh, everything from those previous decks that you saw it took the otk from the lord of the red it took the le the rank eight otk from lord of the red it has its brand new um engine with uh the dragon maids and now with the uh tenpai dragon and the dragon cards man this is just the perfect combination for this deck my boy so let me know what you guys think because even without the tenpai dragon stuff the dragon maids are doing really well with the snake eye combo um as it has its own otk it's it's made this deck viable it's put this deck on the map so i'm gonna be making actually a video going in depth about dragon maids specifically now because i initially it was gonna be red eyes but we're back at it again with this deck, man. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, keep it dang.